Breaking news out of Afghanistan. 31 troops and seven Afghan soldiers are dead after a NATO helicopter crashed during an overnight operation. It happened in the Tanji Valley of the Wardak province. It's just west of Kabul. And this is the worst single day loss of life for coalition troops in Afghanistan since the beginning of the war. Let's bring in retired Army Colonel and military analyst Jack Jacobs. Jack, with a welcome back. What do we know about this crash? Uh, it was a Chinook, a CH-47. I don't know what model. It could very well have been an MH-47E, which is the type that we use for special operations. However, evidently there were seven Afghans aboard. The rest were NATO troops. Don't know how many were Americans. It is unusual for special operations forces to bring Afghan troops with them. So this might have been special forces, American units or other NATO units, go into areas in Afghanistan to train locals and they it, the report is that we're actually on a live mission in a built up area uh, just to the west of Kabul. Okay, so then the Taliban claiming responsibility for this, if we are on a mission and this is not either a training exercise or just some sort of a convoy, they have claimed responsibility at this point, having shot a, a rocket-propelled, you know, helicopter. Yeah, well, that's what they they claim they shot it down with a rocket-propelled grenade. They make claims like that all the time. Most of the time, it's nonsense. However, there's an unconfirmed report from a NATO source that, in fact, the helicopter was shot down. It is easy to shoot helicopters down, especially when they're coming in to land and disgorge troops or pick them up or it's getting close to its objective and is moving extremely slowly. It's easy to shoot them down with small arms, with automatic yeah. weapons, and even with a rocket You know what, they're uh, folks are seeing me get this, uh, and we are just getting, as you are talking to us, this is breaking news, everyone. A senior administration official saying this helicopter that crashed was carrying 31 U.S. Special Operations Forces. We are getting confirmation now. The seven Afghan soldiers as well. Apparently, they're saying, according to a senior administration official, that it was shot down by insurgents there in Afghanistan. So Taliban claiming responsibility. You see this as being a, a likely outcome of, of what may have transpired? Well, it sounds like it is. It's extremely unusual. Special operations forces typically will conduct a mission without Afghans uh, and will do it uh, in a stealthy situation that is usually in a raid that descends right on an objective and catches them by surprise. Uh, it's very unusual for special operations forces to be, in, to be involved in an incident quite like this. It may be, still be special forces, which like I said, are American units that are dropped into areas to train locals. Well, that, that may still come out so to the, be the that. Difference, explain to folks a difference between special forces and special, special operations Special forces are forces. Green Beret guys. Okay. They have a number of different capabilities. Each person is cross-trained. They have language capabilities as well. They go into areas in Afghanistan, Iraq, and other places to train local indigenous forces to defend themselves. Special operations forces, on the other hand, are SEALs, Rangers, uh, uh, Delta Force, none of which really the exist. The ultimate guys. The, yes, yeah. who are sent in usually on a single mission, and it's usually by surprise. Okay, but one more time, as you said, and your reasoning for believing that this may not be special operations forces and instead special forces is because usually special ops don't partner up with, say, Afghans. Typically, Typically. they don't. Doesn't mean that they won't, but, and not only that, it's unusual for them to go into a live operation that's already underway that exposes them uh, to fire. They usually go in uh, by surprise, but, you know, anything is possible in sure. this kind of environment. But Huge lo a huge loss of life. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, a terrible day from that regard. Thank you so much, You're Jack welcome. Jacobs. We'll have more from you.